is Greece's new reality, boatload after boatload of migrants arriving on their idyllic shores. <laughs> Exhausted yet relieved, they rush to set foot on a more stable land. Only the remnants of their past is left behind. A team of four, their job is to spot migrants making the perilous crossing to Greece and rescue them before the tide turns. Within 40 minutes of our journey, a vessel is spotted ahead. A closer look reveals a rubber dinghy, with six men paddling their way to Greece. One by one. one, by one. It's here I meet Sultan Musavi and his family, who have been sleeping, living and dining on the hotel veranda for 10 days and counting. <laughs> Amid the playfulness with his daughter, this Afghan father hides a life full of sorrow and hardship. Pope Francis told CNN that he'd been working on his English and he asked me to pray for him. It's that kind of personal attention that has earned him the title, the People's Pope. As this funeral cortege is beginning to move through the city of Tunis, the sense of pride and anger and frustration is building among the crowd. People are still coming to terms with the fact that their hero has been assassinated this week. The day began with police flooding the tiny town of Damartin en Guel. Worried parents rushed to get their children locked down inside school classrooms, just meters from the site of the police standoff with Sharif and Saeed Kowashi. Now this is the main road leading to that industrial site. There's an elementary school right here. We're seeing a flurry of activity by police to try and evacuate those children to safety as soon as possible. Because this is a pitched battle between the unions and the Black Bloc. The police armed and ready to respond. And it's not long before tear gas is flying in the side streets as motorcycle-mounted policemen chase protesters. In plain clothes, their faces hidden, the police go from door to door to catch those who've been on the streets. And they don't welcome our presence on a balcony above. They throw rocks at us as we retreat inside. Barely organised enough to build a barricade, but again met with uncompromising force. In the side streets close to the Cairo University sit-in, tear gas. Moving in to chase down the remaining pro-Morsi demonstrators, armed riot police. Nearly a week after Malaysian Air Flight 17 crashed into these farm fields in eastern Ukraine, the bodies of some of the victims have been transported, returned to the Netherlands, the country of origin for this doomed flight. You know, it takes 20, 30, 40 games to, to build up a good reputation, but it takes one bad game to break that reputation down again. I think that respect drives me, to be able to earn that respect, and, uh, and, and I think that takes time. I'm the most capped uh, Springbok centre in the history of the game. My name is Adrian Nyashuti. My age is 25 years old. I'm a cyclist for Team of Rwanda. We win? Yeah. I think we win, huh? It's close. 